Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and in this video I'm sharing with you a new wild edible that I've come across that's really uh, very common in this new location that I've moved to. It's something that's you know reasonably common everywhere, but there is just a lot of it right here, and I wanted to share it with you guys because in a crisis this could... Oh, it's ethical preparedness. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, Praxis. So I've been watching your videos that you've done on wild edibles, and well, I, I've been trying it out. Oh, that's weird timing, because I'm actually, I'm filming a video right now about a different wild edible that uh, it's not in that series, something different, but um, can I give you a call back well, later? Well, I kind of, I kind of have a problem. Um, yeah. Okay, okay, well, what's the problem? Well, a couple of days ago, I ate some plants in the woods, and, and I've broken out in this rash across my entire body, and, and I've been having random hallucinations. What? What did you eat? I don't know exactly. I tried matching up the plants that I ate to plants that I seen in the videos. So you, so you were essentially just randomly shoving stuff in your mouth without any idea what you're putting in there. Yeah, I say, I say right in the video series, you need a book. There's a, you, you have to be able to actually positively identify these things. I mean, some of it's pretty easy, but I mean, you gotta start with something, dude. Book? I can't read. If I could read and write, I would've became a firefighter instead of a police officer. When I failed the firefighter exam, I walked across the street to the police department and became a cop instead. I mean, duh, everybody knows that the literate ones become firefighters. They get all the perks. They get to rescue kittens from trees. Everybody loves them. They get to sleep on the job. They get those big comfy recliners and those big flat screen TVs in their firehouses. When all of us cops, all we get is these hot ballistic vests and a car. You know what they say, there's never a cop around when you need one, but then like you try to do a video shoot and they're calling you on the horn. Yeah, obviously it was just a gag. It was actually Ethical Preparedness' idea to do that. And, and he's got me doing an annoying phone call to him on his channel at some point. I, I don't know whether he's already played that or it's coming up, but you know, you can check his channel out to see my annoying phone call over to him. So yeah, anyway, what we're talking about today is a wild edible that I did not include in my series on wild edible plants because it's not a plant. It is an animal, and specifically I'm talking about crickets. I've moved to this new place and there are a lot of crickets here. And it's got me thinking about, you know, food sources and everything. People talk about how, uh, you know, cows and what else, what else do like all you meat eaters eat? Chicken <laughs> and everything, uh, you know, pigs. That, that stuff, uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of resources that go into that, a lot of water that goes into that, and a crisis, all that kind of stuff is gonna really shut down. Those supply chains are gonna shut down. And it's hard to eat off of that stuff. Now, a lot of people say that, you know, chickens, I guess I, I threw chickens in with that, but chickens are a little easier for people to manage on their own, uh, you know, just on your homestead. Rabbits, uh, you know, certainly. But crickets are way easier than either of those. And they've got a lot of benefits over those things. First off, crickets are super nutritious. About 65% uh, of their body is protein, and it's a complete protein, which means that it has all the amino acids that you need, uh, are all packaged right into that one little cricket. It also has a lot of fatty acids, uh, omega-3 and omega-6 are in there, there's B12, there's calcium in there. All in all, it's, it's really a nutritional powerhouse, these little crickets that are running all around around us. And I know that that kind of grosses people out. I mean, a lot of people, especially in the Western world, have kind of like an ick factor when it comes to eating any kind of arthropods except for shrimp and lobster, I guess. Um, and I, you know, I don't know exactly where that came from. I did a little research. It seems like maybe it started coming up around like the agricultural revolution where, you know, the insects were seen more as the enemy because they were eating our crops or whatever, for, for whatever reason. I mean, you know, Hindus don't like eating cows. Muslims don't like eating pigs. People in the United States don't want to eat dogs or horses. You know, people have these like taboos about things. And for a lot of places, insects are one of those taboos. But for a quarter of the world's population, actually, insects are just a normal part of everyday life that they, you know, just eat as part of their diet. So it is possible to get over that. And like I said, because they're very nutritious and because they're very sustainable. And I know, you know, a lot of people in my audience don't necessarily care about sustainability of the world. Your words, not mine. <laughs> You know, it, you know, sustainability is just like a liberal uh, conspiracy 
by Toyota or what? I, I, I have trouble following it. Well, that was offensive. Are you one of the millions of Americans who think Praxis Prepper has just gone too far? Are you asking yourself how anyone with a different view on foreign policy could ever teach you anything about gardening or other survival skills? Praxis Prepper actually carries a gun? I can't listen to him. You mean that guy who goes on mile-long runs in the middle of the winter in his underwear just to prove a point? Sounds like he's trying to make up for some shortcomings, if you ask me. Well, unsubscribing from Praxis Prepper has never been easier. In the past, unsubbing on YouTube was a nightmare. There were mail-in forms, messy waxes, not to mention those hard-to-clean blades. But no more. Now, unsubscribing to Praxis Prepper is as easy as the click of a button. Simply scroll down to the unsubscribe button, click it, and instantly you're back in a safe space. The man cans trash. I mean trash in other people's dumpsters. Just count me out. Praxis Prepper literally used a chainsaw to saw off his daughter's head. Praxis ain't no prepper. He doesn't even do gear reviews. That's right. Your safe space is just one click away. Unsubscribe today. But uh, certainly anyone can understand the idea that in a crisis you want your own self-sufficient homestead to be sustainable. And it's a lot more, uh, it's a lot easier to uh, sustain a cricket population and, you know, growing crickets for consumption than it is to do pretty much any kind of other animal. Um, and like I said, they're very nutritious, so there's a lot of benefits in doing that. I mean, the whole world could eat much more sustainably if we we're eating more of our, our uh, protein from various arthropods like crickets and things of that nature. Uh, yeah, crickets are a great way to close the loop on your nutritional needs in a crisis especially, but even now during everyday life. And I know what you're thinking right now is like, you know, that's all fine Praxis. You're just, you know, talk, 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 talk. You know, have you ever eaten a cricket? Well, personally, I'm a vegetarian, so it doesn't come up that much. But the other day it did, uh, through a series of events, I came into some dead cricket matter and not wanting to waste it, I tried it. And this coming Monday, I'm gonna share with you a video of me trying it. And I was really surprised by the experience. I'm gonna share all that with you, uh, but I definitely eat it. You definitely get to see me eat it on camera. And I'm gonna share with you what that is like. So yeah, crickets, give it some thought. Very easy to raise, resource low intensity, not bad. We'll find out if they taste good on Monday though. That's it, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.